Hello, I'm Anri and welcome to my YouTube channel. I decided to journal one of my favourite verses in the Bible, which is Psalm 23 verse 5 and 6. It reads, You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Only goodness and faithful love will pursue me all the days of my life. So before I start any art book in my Bible, I normally like to mask it down so I can frame the scene. And then I put it on my Bible mat. The Bible mat just keeps it from bleeding through and then I don't spill on the other pages because I'm a bit messy, messy. So for the background, I used an antique white, some raw umber, just to create like a vintage feel to the background. And then I used some masking tape to paint some books or beginning books. I really like using washi to just neaten out shapes when I paint them. Um, it just makes it look neat to me and it gives you a little bit more control over where you're going to paint. After I finished painting in my books, I started to sketch out my little teacup. I used just a normal HB pencil. So then I started flat painting my little teacup. So when you paint in your Bible specifically, I sometimes find that it works better if you flat paint with a small flat brush. Reason being is you've got a bit more control about the amount of paints that you take on your that you put on your brush and also you can control the amount of water that you use with it. So once I've finished painting in all my base colours, I normally do my detail by mixing a brown and black ink with a little bit of raw umber or whichever brown paint you have. It just allows the paint to be a bit more transparent so you can still keep the detail that was in the artwork prior to adding the details. Once I'd done adding the details I just did small, added small little elements, um, added a little tea bag label and a, another label to the to the to the ear of the cup and I used the Winsor & Newton white ink to just add small little details that I thought would just make the artwork pop a more like those little polka dots and just adding some shimmering like highlight effects to my cups. After I painted my artwork I removed the washi tape and then I selected the words that I wanted to write down which was goodness and faithful love. I used a heart instead of love and then I just added my cup overflows with a little branch and that's it. Before I say goodbye, I just want to give a big shout out to my neighbor and friend, well kind of neighbor, uh, Rochelle from La Rochelle Bible Journaling. She gave me the pink Bible mat, which she made herself. She's even got a video about it. And then she helped me get a light so that I can record in the night time. And just, she's this well of inspiration and knowledge when it comes to Bible journaling and the word. And I'm going to link her page details at the bottom. I would encourage you to really just go look at some of her videos. And just, you'll just fall in love with her and her work and the word even more. And she just radiates Jesus. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'm going to list all the products that I used at the bottom. And then please like and subscribe to my channel. And I'll also be uploading some more in-depth tutorial videos where I'll show you a couple of techniques that I like doing in my Bible and then you can paint with me. But for now, goodbye and have a wonderful day. Bye-bye!